record button, uh, Lynn, and we're going to keep it moving. And we are now recorded. Hey, guys, this is uh, Kevin Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen, on Power Connections with my beautiful and awesome guest today, Joy Lynn Mackey. Ladies and gentlemen, she is CEO and founder of I Can, the Black Collective. We're going to hear more about that. But Joy, first of all, we give you a round of applause for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank so you. Awesome. Love your uh, your look, love your background, everything is looking great today, ladies. So we hope you guys are enjoying this today. Hey guys, we want you to share this out too, because Joy's gonna have some great information for you today. And uh, we want the entire family to be part of this uh, review, part of this interview today as well. Guys, we are so excited about our life. We're excited about God. I wanna get that straight, Joy. I wanna let people understand. We understand who God is. <laughs> we know, we respect who yes. God is. We know he sent his son. And we know that the Son sent the Holy Spirit, and we receive all of that, ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to understand that uh, people are searching for the answer. We have the answer. His name is Jesus the Christ, ladies and gentlemen, and also the precious Holy Spirit. So we ain't going to get that twisted, Joy, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yes, indeed. Amen. So welcome to Power Connections. With Joy, we always like to give our guests uh, some, kind of an opening monologue there. You know, there's a lot going on on the planet. But anything you'd like to open up with and share with our network, uh, anything you want to say from your heart? Come on, come on. Well, you know what? I'm I'm very excited about, um, you know, some of the things that have happened over the last weekend um, and, you know, some of the triumphs, yes, that we yeah. have had and very, very grateful for. Um, a lot of the uh, Black women who were uh, behind this whole system, yeah, so I've been very excited about that, um, and I, but I'm also um, wanting to make sure that um, we don't just wallow in that and say, oh, that right. was a great win, but right. there are some areas that we are going to need to jump in on and make sure that we are still holding accountable mm -hmm. uh, those who need to be held accountable so we don't want to just fall away. <laughs> we want to no. stay strong. That's right. This is a process, Joy. And uh, once we get the information on how to, that's one thing, as you know, over time, ladies and gentlemen, people have kept the process from us because they knew if we understood the process, we'd be taking over everything. So <laughs> bottom line. So anyway, I'm going to get off of that, Joy. We're back to you. <laughs> this is Power Connections with Joy Lynn Mackey today, ladies and gentlemen. I can. Uh, Black Collective, you're going to hear more about that. But Joy, go continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was getting excited there. Yeah, no, I just, um, I feel like we are on this great trajectory in a way that we haven't been in the past. Right. Um, I started seeing it pretty much in the mid port part of the pandemic yeah. um, and just noticing that there were some mm -hmm. people that were saying, yeah. okay, no, yeah. we're going to go yeah. after some yeah. things, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And good. so that to me is a yeah. big deal. And I, I yeah. just... Yeah. I'm, I'm, my whole goal is that we continue to flow right. with that. that. And that's so good because, see, unfortunately, you know, the COVID is doing a lot of things with people and families. We understand that. But on the positive side, what it has done, uh, Joy, and I'm sure you probably agree with this, before COVID, right, before that, before January, maybe last year, this year, before all that, you know, we were doing everything. We were working, businesses, and, you know, everything we were doing. We were so busy. But what I uh, found out, Joy, those were all, and some of those are required, of course, but there were a lot of distractions in our lives earlier. A lot of distractions, right? I so, agree. So the system is going to do their thing, right? We're distracted, and they're saying, okay, we feel going to do our thing, but you distracted over here. But guess what? COVID said, I'm going to flip that. Now, we're not so distracted, and we'll be able to get involved in government, politics, uh, you know, judicial system. You know, things are, people are starting to sit down and think about, okay, I've got to help change my community, help change my nation, my world. And guess what? They're getting the information. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have knowledge. As you know, knowledge is power, but only when applied, Joy. So yes. yeah, if we, we can dive into that some other time. But the COVID thing has sl slowed people down enough to say, hey, we got to do what we got to do in order to make this change in our yes. nation today. That's powerful. So yeah, thank you so much for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, real quickly, I want to uh, really give Joy a little uh, better in introduction here. Uh, she is an awesome individual. Uh, let me just go ahead and read a little bit about her, ladies and gentlemen. Her name, again, ladies and gentlemen, is Joy Lynn Mackey. Uh, she's been uh, she's very passionate about writing. Uh, I love it. Since uh, my teacher asked me, she says, since her teacher asked her to speak in the sixth grade graduation, 
she was fired up. I guess she got on stage and said, I like this. <laughs> so she's been great in writing, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in this area. She's also uh, super fortunate to be uh, at this point in her life where she can focus solely on her passion. She's going to tell us more about that and then create meaningful work for the world. Her desire is to support her um, content needs in a way that strengthens uh, your organization and personal purpose, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sister Mackie, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, involved in business writing, copywriting, content writing, article writing, and so much more. But guys, if you will, welcome to Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn, my awesome, awesome guest, Joy Lynn Mackie. Joy, well, welcome again to that Thank time. you. Amen. Well, Joy, first of all, you know, we got people across the globe that will be seeing this later on. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, you can start when you're a little baby, if you like, and you can bring us on up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so okay. Background here a little bit. Well, yeah, I think um, I think I can start as a little baby. Uh, <laughs> I I um, I am best basically a person that um, I grew up uh, with parents who were very much connected to uh, Black Power. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and so uh, wow. everything, everything in our home, um, you know, it was black. We had Ebony magazines. Wow. We had, you know, all these things. My yeah. dad was involved a lot in politics, um, uh, things like that. And so I was reading things, you know, I remember I was maybe 10 or 11 and I was reading yeah. you know books from mm -hmm. the 60s and you know and my friends would say what in the world are you talking about <laughs> I yeah, was like exactly. you don't know about this right you know, right that's the kind of kid so that's the kind of kid I was yeah um, yeah advocate you were the advocate early uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. so that that was something interesting um during my younger years but I yeah. think that um some of the things that I really have enjoyed about you know growing Mm -hmm. um, in the sense of from childhood until now is, you know, the relationships that I've made along the way, mm -hmm. um, and how the connections mm -hmm. are so mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Um, yeah. and sometimes we, you know, you know, we say we're in school or whatever it is mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, you have these friends and then you're like, oh, we don't talk to them anymore, you know, or, <laughs> you know, yeah. whatever. But right. I found that building with people is really important. Mm -hmm. um and yeah. that us coming together and creating things uh together is important mm -hmm. um, and so that's something that i've done uh pretty yeah. much since i was a child as well yeah powerful that's a great way to grow up you know because you're building your attitude first of all you're building your confidence Woo, no doubt about that that's good uh, yeah you know what i'm saying that's very important in our young people today and uh, joy we're going to have you talk to our youth later on too before we uh, finish up today about our young people having the mindset to win the mindset to know who they are and of course as you hit their area uh, earlier excuse me is that your parents were the key to that see that's the key it has to start in the home ladies yes. and gentlemen you can't get that outside the home your mom and dad have to be able to infuse that into you so because that's that's the people we love you know i'm yes. going to do what mom and daddy said you know whether it's good or bad i'm going to do probably what they said in some cases if you're in their home right. unless you just get out their home for other reasons but the point is is that you had a great mindset start uh, it built your confidence for today. I'm sure it helped keep your joy as well for today because you don't take no mess. Like my uh, pastor says, uh, you got to keep it moving, man. And some That's stuff is it. not that serious. You know, you got to keep it moving, but ain't that yeah. serious. So you got to know how to weed that out real quickly. I love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, uh, wonderful Joy Lynn Mackey, ladies and gentlemen, on Power Connections with Kevin Bond. Thank you so much for joining us. She's the CEO and founder of I Can Black Collective. We're going to hear more about that as well. You know, also too, uh, I was going to ask you, Joy, do you have any, do you have any siblings? You got siblings? I do. Like, I have wonderful siblings. Yeah, um, tell us about yeah. them real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So I have um, three siblings. Uh, yeah. I'm the youngest uh, oh, of okay. the family. Yeah. And okay. so I have an older sister. Um, yeah. uh, and well, I have two older sisters and an mm -hmm. older brother. Um, my sister that is right above me is yeah. seven years apart mm -hmm. uh and the other two are a little bit much further away from me <laughs> uh, but I won't, yeah. I won't say anything about right, their right. their ages yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly uh but but i'll tell you um you know 
especially my two elder um, siblings, because they are much older than me and even my other sister. Um, yep. They have been quite a solace for us. Uh, mm-hmm. My parents are no longer alive, mm-hmm. um, but my, my older brother and sister have mm-hmm. really right. kind of, right. you know, swept in uh, for right. us in these last years. So Absolutely. What a great uh, connection there with your family, because, so, you know, some people break off and, you know, they call, call us when you're dead, right? Call us when you're dead. <laughs> Or whatever. So we thank God for the connections of having yeah. sisters and brothers and uh, that are still talking. And we want to yeah. encourage everybody to do that, guys. So I want to encourage uh, Joy, those people who are not talking to their siblings or mom and dad, you get that straight, please get that straight. You yes. do not want to go before God and have that issue on your uh, conscience. So <laughs> that, that the true, Lord true. that the Lord may bring up, I'll say. But seriously, though, folks, uh, honor your mom and dad, and of course, respect your your sibling. I'm not saying it's easy to do but do the best you can, right? To get that uh, connection back uh, before you pass this planet. Cause it's, it's all about uh, relationships, a joy, as you know, all about relationship. And that's what God has been trying to get us to, to do. First of all, relationship with him. And then of course with other people as well, that's gonna help move you forward. So that's what Power Connections is all about, ladies. And we bring in uh, key people like Joy Lynn Mackey uh, that are power movers, power connectors around the planet. And uh, we share that with you as well. Well, one thing we got to talk about, uh, Joy, because we're one of the areas we want to understand too, is tell us about how your purpose, your mission, and uh, goals of the I Can uh, Black Collective. Tell us about how that all came about. But also, too, don't forget we want to mention about your authorshipness, all that good stuff. <laughs> You're being an author as well, so we're going to talk about your books. But I want to hear about the uh, I Can Black Collective, the purpose of that, and your mission. But give us an overview of that whole network that you have. Thank you so much. Okay. So I Can Black Collective, um, it came about because it's it's very, this is going to be very simple. Yeah. Uh, I have a dear friend, um, really, I Can is uh, his name spelled backwards, Nakia. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> but what we, yeah, <laughs> but what we found, right, is mm-hmm. that um, the idea of I can Mm -hmm. um, being a very powerful thing to move in the world with realizing that each day I can move forward each day I can develop each day I can you know that that idea and Mm -hmm. so um, Mm -hmm. I am not the only one to use the I can name Um, there are a couple of other organizations that we are collective together yes um, and we use that name but that's pretty much the yeah, background. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. purpose. Yeah, some you know some of the most powerful things are very simple, you know. Exactly. In fact, I'm gonna give you a good example. God, one <laughs> word, and He's uh, everything. <laughs> so, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So that's powerful. Yeah. So Joy, that is so awesome. So that's what we want to hear today about that, and and that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. It's about connections. It's about encouragement. But you know, one thing. Joy, uh, and I want to hear how you do this. How do you motivate yourself? Because people, you know, are getting, some people get into a slump or whatever because of the COVID thing and so forth going on. But even before that, some people just need a little help. But uh, how do you motivate yourself in the morning when you first get up? What happens and what do you encourage people to do? Uh, of course, everybody's going to be a little different, of course. But uh, how do you motivate yourself in the morning? And how, what, what would you say to somebody who says, well, what I, need, I need to do something different, Joy. What can I do to help motivate myself each day? You know, rituals are your best friend. Um, That's what I say. And so for me, I have uh, vigorously kind of latched on to certain rituals that I do. And, you know, Mm -hmm. I pray, uh, you know, every Mm -hmm. morning, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. and pretty much all day long, (laughs) (laughs) but I pray and Yeah, and and I and just simple things. I make sure I'm drinking water. I, you know, use my little yoga mat and, you know, and Mm -hmm, do mm -hmm, kind of my mm -hmm. stretching and, you know, things that are going to energize my body and my mind um, and really help me to visualize my day. So those things are so important. And I, when I don't do them, Mm -hmm. I feel it in my body. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Matter of fact, I'm glad you mentioned that because see, there's a certain amount of energy and level of um, benefit, if you will, that you need to have every day for yourself. And that's so important. But, you know, Joy, you hit something I think we need to talk about a little bit is that you need to recognize that you deserve that, ladies and gentlemen. You deserve the best every day for yourself. 
but that only comes from God, right? Ladies and gentlemen, it comes from the precious Holy Spirit. But, but, but guess what? Holy Spirit, God, and, and Jesus don't push you to do nothing. They don't uh, force you to do nothing, even though I was, I was telling somebody else, Joy, that if anybody could force you to do something, it would be God. And he don't even do that. He don't force you to love him. He don't force you not to love him. It's all about choice today. So that's so powerful, ladies and gentlemen, that, that, that Joy is sharing with us today. You have to have some type of routine. But Joy, most of all, if you would talk about how uh, women and men, of course, today, but could you talk a little bit about, about them? They need to know how beautiful, how handsome, how powerful, how uh, uh, wonderfully made they are. Can you talk just a little bit about that? They need to know who they are, is what I'm trying to say. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because that's so important today. <laughs> Well it, well, it is important. Um, and so, in fact, the reason uh, that I started um, to write my book was yeah. because, you know, I was seeing the value, the mm -hmm. vast value of, I call them my beautiful Black people. Yes. Uh, yes. And, you know, the way that I encounter mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. my people mm -hmm. is totally different than the way I encounter anyone else. And I'm okay right. with that. Right. I'm not neglecting anyone else, but no. I'm saying mm -hmm. these are yeah. beautiful, right. amazing, yeah. powerful, strong yeah. people. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I encourage people. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm really a big motivator. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, yeah. and so I really care about people that, uh, especially right. my people that yeah. are going through life and sometimes they're saying, you know what, I don't know mm -hmm. why I'm doing this or why should I be here? You All know, right. and I'm saying, well, you should be here because God called you to be here and there's a purpose for your life. And let me tell you what that purpose is. <laughs> you exactly. know, exactly. Let's <laughs> sit down for a minute and talk about that. But yeah. you know, because it's important to realize that we are strong. We come from right. a yeah. long line of powerful black mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and there have been places and spaces that have tried to smash us and push us down but we yeah. shall rise that's right that's so exactly as long right. as in our mind mm -hmm. we begin to rise and we say it's okay it's yeah. not going to happen if you don't receive it and right. you don't say that it's right. okay Amen. that's important yeah, that's powerful, Joy. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, this is uh, Joy Lynn Mackey, ladies and gentlemen, on Power Connection, CEO and founder of ICANN, uh, a Black Collective. She's an author, a motivational speaker, mentor, all of the above, ladies and gentlemen. So excited about that. You know, you hit something real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage everybody to go online. You know, most of everything you talk about can be YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Just type in Black History. Man, I tell you, you're going to be blown away. And uh, so please just do your homework. But know how valuable, that's what I want people to get today, Joy, is know how valuable you are, who you are, where you come from. Okay, please don't get that messed up. You, you come from God. God breathed life into your DNA. So therefore, that means you have purpose, you have value. And the fact that God put us here, uh, it's, it's just, it blows my mind, Joy, when I think about the fact that you and I are born to be here today. That's pretty powerful. Yes, uh, yes. We were born because God knew that we were going to connect for this reason today. But the fact that we're here doing this, that's uh, very humbling to me because uh, so many other things are going on on the planet, you know, uh, right now that is not positive. And here we are talking over Zoom uh, and sharing some information on the power of connections. That's what we're all about today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is my awesome and beautiful sister there, ladies and gentlemen, Joy Lynn Mackey. Uh, on Power Connection. She is our power player for the month of uh, November. And we got so much going on. In fact, real quickly, I was just thinking about a couple of things. Today's Veterans Day, Joy. So we give we shout out to the veterans today as well. Yes. So I don't know if you had anybody in the military in your family, Joy, but we My salute brother. them. Amen. So we salute the brothers, we salute the sisters. That's it. Everybody, guys, uh, thank you so much for all you do uh, yeah. and what you're doing as well. A uh, very uh, serious area where people put themselves on the line around the globe uh, for this area. So happy Veterans Day, ladies and gentlemen, and we do uh, celebrate you today as well. Well, Len, you know, one thing we got to talk about, too, I want to share before we get to your book area is uh, can you talk to our young women and then talk to our young men uh, today? What you see from your perspective that needs to be said today from your heart? Anything from those perspectives? Uh, well, yeah, I think that for um, young people, young adults, uh, even adults, the, the idea of making sure that you 
keep moving forward. I think sometimes um, we come to places where we feel like, okay, I didn't do good at this particular thing. And so I'm not going to do anything anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to do something crazy or I'm going to, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, the idea of not knowing how to kind of push your way a little bit, you know, a little Mm -hmm. bit more, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, And so that you can become, Right. You know, and it's it's very difficult sometimes for people to rise up from, you know, despair or rise up from even right. Right. maybe there's a, a maybe there was something with a, a teacher right. or, right. you know, and they said something horrible about them right. Right. and they just decided, you know what, I can't do this, <clears throat> you know, those types of things. And I'm saying, no, you can, you can. And I think it takes um, a willingness to think a little bit about what you want to be, mm-hmm. you know, why God put you here. There's an amazing reason for that. And your job should be to go through each day looking for what God is saying for you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And there, yeah. and that's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. It um, is. It's not just something, you know, mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. clouds, mm-hmm. it's something that can really right. um, ingest mm-hmm. you and mm-hmm. allow you to grow and to understand yourself mm-hmm. um, and to be able to interact in the world in a way yeah. that's going to be beneficial, not just yeah. for you, but for the right. world itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Powerful. That's great. We're, we were, we, you know, we are just um, mm-hmm. fearfully and wonderfully made. And mm-hmm. so we, we, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're not just any Mm-mm. old thing. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. We you got know, so much there. power. Yeah. Yeah, we have so much power, ladies and gentlemen, so much opportunity oh, yeah. that God has given us, but we got to recognize it and you have to execute it as well. That's powerful. You know, I just wrote down some notes to enjoy you talking. Life is a journey, ladies and gentlemen. It's a journey. But see, what happens, Joy, and we understand it's not all our fault because we weren't taught this. Now, some families and some people are, are fortunate to get this from their parents and stuff or from the community, which is understandable. But we, we are recognizing that not everybody had that type of upbringing. We understand it. You know, you had people who grew up that uh, told, been told they were nothing all their life by their parents. You know, when mom and dad say that, so oh, man, you know, you can go ballistic in all kinds of ways. I mean, this is mom and dad. Your mom and dad telling you you will, will not amount to nothing. I mean, that's what they portray all the time in your life. And uh, that's sad. Joy. And that's why there need to be people yeah. around, you know, um, not just the parents, but the right. aunties and, yeah. you know, to, to talk to right. those particular, you, yeah. you know, yeah. people because Absolutely. it's important. Um, because when your mother and father forsake you, God will pull right. you up. Absolutely. And so there are people around, you mm-hmm. know, seek out people that, you know, you know, are around that mm-hmm. you have more of an affinity yeah. Um, yeah. with yeah. so that yeah. you can get more. Yeah. There's still more, yeah. even if they couldn't give you more, there's right. more. Right. It, God wouldn't have had you here if it wasn't more. Right. right. For you. Powerful. Powerful. I love mm-hmm. it. So seek it out. You got to <clears throat> seek it out. Now, I'm glad you mentioned I was getting ready to talk about that joy because this is breakthrough time, guys. You got to break through that. But guess what, though, guys? Joy hit a keyword. You got to want it. You got to literally want it. You say, I got, I am. Matter of fact, we were talking about this the other day, Joy, with somebody else. I am better than that. I'm <laughs> better than this. Whatever it is, you're better than all of that, right? But how do you get there, right? One thing we can tell you because guess what? Man can't, or woman can't be everywhere, but God is everywhere. So guess what? I encourage you to call on God. That's the first person. You need to say, God, I don't know if I even believe in you. Whatever your situation is, just call on God to help you. Call on the Son. But I would recommend you just call on the Lord, and he will bring a Son and Holy Spirit to you to give you that information you need. Secondly, like Joy said, you need to reach out to people like Joy, uh, if you're a woman or a man or anybody that's, that's qualified to help mentor you help coach you, help move you forward. Sometimes joy is just an encouragement word, encouraging word, right? We can go to the word right now and pull some words out and just encourage you in the Lord. But I want to encourage you guys to stay focused on who you are. Uh, God wants you happy. He wants you joyful. He wants you to do things. He said, I, I, uh, he's given you everything you need, ladies and gentlemen, on the planet. But as you know, the system has tried to, uh, it can't get rid of it. The system can't get rid of it, but it tries to suppress it. 
And I think that's being broken through now, uh, Joy, as, you, as we get to that level. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. This is Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn, my beautiful and awesome guest, ladies and gentlemen, is Joy Lynn Mackey. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the CEO and founder of I Can Collective. She's also a powerful author and a motivational speaker and also speaker as well, as you can tell right now, ladies and gentlemen, she gets you fired up. They yeah, almost had to make sure I didn't get out of my seat. She's talking some <laughs> good stuff today, you know, on the network. Well, Joy, let's talk about your writing and your books. I think you got 5,000 books or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can but keep putting that out in the atmosphere. Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. So we'll talk about your awesome books, but let's go back in time and see, again, probably your parents, I'm guessing, but what motivated you to start writing uh, tell us about you. I think you got three books. I think you said three books. Yes, three, three books. Yeah. So we got to talk about each one of those. Don't give too much away. But also, <laughs> too, let's give a commercial break right now. So if people want to get in touch with you, Joy, how can they do that? Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, well, they can contact me um, at I Can Black Collective. Uh, that's actually, uh, it'll go straight to uh, mm -hmm. my platform. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, joylynnmackey at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. J-O-Y-L-I-N-N. M-A-C-K-E-Y, Joy Lynn Mackey at gmail.com. Fantastic. Well, great. Well, Joy, let's talk about that wonderful gift that you have of writing and creating and, and a spoken word. I don't know. Do you do poetry too? Do you do poetry? I'm just I asking. did. I, I, I used to yeah. do spoken word for yeah, a little bit. I, I, yeah, you look like you <laughs> wouldn't be doing that. I love it. Yeah, I got some friends that you could tell. Oh, yeah, you spoken word person. <laughs> you could just tell. For some reason, you just tell they spoke. They right. can know how, to, know how to speak as well. Well, great. Well, tell us about your journey up to your books, how, how you got started. When did, mm. when did you start writing? Uh, just give us that journey. To bring it up okay. To well, I can definitely say um, that I had a friend, um, Danita, and um, we were maybe 13 or 14 years old, mm -hmm. um, and we used to hang around together, uh, and she saw, um, there was something, she was at my house, mm -hmm. and she saw this paper um, mm -hmm. that, you know, had these words on it, and she was reading it, mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, who wrote this? And mm -hmm. I said, I did. Wow. Uh, and she said, you wrote this? And I said, yes, you know, I, that's just kind of what I do. And she's like, this is amazing. We have to tell everybody. And she did. <laughs> she went about telling everyone we knew, like Joy yeah. wrote this, you know, amazing. It was a script, yeah. um, you know, and, and she's the one that made me realize that I wasn't just doing it because I was bored. Right. Um, I was doing it because I loved it. Yeah. Uh, and so it. that's where it all started as far as it. writing. You're just bringing out them babies uh, out of you. You're just bringing all <laughs> them babies up and writing. <laughs> I love it, man. Isn't that wonderful how it came from? You're birthing the babies out, uh, just writing everything. <laughs> I, I, it was all inside you. Uh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Joy, and that's so important, ladies and gentlemen. That's what, what's ever in your heart and in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, you need to birth it right now but back to you joy i want to just tell people birth it birth that do what you got to do i don't care if it's right whatever you got to do whatever you, your heart says to do do that and matter of fact joy before i give it back to you we're telling people too we're asking people to, the question what what has god you know put in your heart to do and then we'll give you a chance to think about it and if you know what it is we're just telling you to do it back to you joy <laughs> so about the the first book uh the first book that um, I put out there in the world was the purpose <clears throat> experiment. Mm. Uh, and I, I, I think I just, I wanted for um, people to be able to find their purpose, yeah. to really seek their yeah. purpose and to find their purpose. Yeah. And so that's what that whole book was about. Um, I decided that I was going to kind of squirrel away Mm -hmm. from the world and just write that because I knew it would help somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and as it came back, it really did. There were right. people right. that yeah. um, were much older than me um, mm -hmm. that were saying, I realized yeah. that I still didn't get it. And I'm right. this right. many years old, yeah. um, but I got it when I read your book right. uh, and, and I, I cried. You know, because yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was, it was yeah, that was profound. That was profound to me. Breakthrough. Yeah. So, um, but the purpose experiment, yeah, is a uh, a big deal, and it's still out there on Amazon. Um, you know, it's my first book. Mm, and then, 
I wrote a devotional uh, after that, that was called Emancipation. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that was a much more, it was a lighter book uh, in the sense of uh, its content. And so it was fun and interesting and, you know, but also very thoughtful um, and spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so it's this amazing mix uh, yeah. all together. And it's really helping you to emancipate and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. make sure that you are taking off some mm -hmm. of the things that, you know, had bound mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And so, you know, that was a very, it's a devotional. And so you would do it day by day. Powerful. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. You know what, I, you know, um, how, how does the inspiration come for you? I mean, for writing books, I mean, how does that, how does that process work for you? So, um, I think that the first two books were very, I didn't know what to do. I just thought, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to just start this. But at a certain point, um, I mm -hmm. had some experiences that were um, kind of just really difficult for me. Um, and I didn't know how to shift out of it. And so mm -hmm. I decided to just start journaling mm -hmm. about things. Yeah. And as I started doing that, mm -hmm. I realized, oh, this should be a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And then I thought, okay, well, how do I do a book? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, exactly. You, know, you yeah. know, it was that right. kind of, it, yeah. was, right. it was a bit by bit uh -huh. uh, kind uh -huh. of movement forward. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pray and see, you know, what God puts yeah. in my spirit, there you, you go. know? And yeah. it just started rising and rising and mm -hmm. rising. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is it, this is it, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, tapped, you tapped into the source, <laughs> no doubt about that. That's powerful, Joy. You know, as yeah. you were talking, Joy, I was thinking about, you mentioned a couple of things. One was your journal, keeping a journal. I want you to talk about that because I want you to encourage somebody to start your own journal. Also, too, I don't know if you use vision boards and goal setting, that type of thing, but can you talk a little bit about how important that is to set those things in, in, in writing or in some type of uh, visual board? Yeah, um, so I, de I definitely love um, doing the boards, the vision yeah. boards and, and things like that. To me, yeah. it's very important to keep yourself um, kind of watered, mm -hmm. I call it, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. With, yeah. with the different areas of your life that you want to see grow. Yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, being able to, you know, see something and realize, you know, this is a part of something that I need to do, want to do, want to be. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to believe God for that. And I'm going to keep it in front of me so that I can um, bring that together in my life. Yeah. And I, I've seen it um, really open up some, we had, I had a session actually with some women mm -hmm. um, where we did some vision, you know, boarding and things like that. Um, and later we came together and mm -hmm. talked about mm -hmm. um, the blessings that came later yeah. Um, yeah. from that segment. And mm -hmm. it's important. Those things yeah, are important. Is. Yeah, it is very, very important. Now, Beck, I, I love, doing one thing I love doing, even if it's just action items for the day, right? Put it on a piece of paper, right? And it's nothing like checking them off. <laughs> I love that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if, I don't care what it is, whatever it is, it could be just going to the store, pick up some, you know, some milk or whatever you need or vitamins, whatever. The point is, you, when you check it off, man, I say, yeah, that's awesome, man. I got all this <laughs> done today. And even though it's in my brain, it's nothing like it being on in writing. So we want to encourage you guys, just write down your stuff. And then even if it takes you a month or maybe a year, whatever it is, just check it off and just be very proud of yourself and be excited about uh, what you're doing today. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn and my wonderful guest, ladies and gentlemen, Joy Lynn Mackey. Ladies and gentlemen, she's CEO and founder of I Can Black Collective. And uh, she's an author, speaker, ladies and gentlemen, motivational uh, person as well. She's got some great stuff for you, mindset. We're talking, we're really talking about mindset today, <laughs> Joy, you know? That's true. And really uh, putting you guys in the right frame of mind and getting things uh, the way you need to do that as well. Would you, I think we talked, did you talk about the third book yet? The third book. I did not. Yeah, I did not. talk about that. I want to hear that title. <laughs> yeah. So um, my most recent book is Chain Breaker. Woo! Uh, 
<laughs> how it. to imagine your story and reclaim your power. Ooh, so that's that I'm put, here, wait, I've got it. So look, let's see, there it yeah, is. Yeah, thank you so, so much. That's that. Yeah. Hold that up there. Hold that up there for a minute. Throw yeah. it up there. It is. There that's it is. Beautiful. My favorite. Yeah. My favorite color too. Out there. Oh, I'm nice, color. nice. Yeah, great color. Um, that's so cool. yeah, so that's my my newest book, my my newest baby, I say. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we want uh, you guys and, uh, to break through, man. We want y'all to break through. Woo! I like break, that break, break through. Break, break all those chains, guys. That's what it's all about. That's today. right. That's want right. You guys, to enjoy your life. But tell us about that. First of all, let's talk about the cover of that bad boy. How that how that come about? Show us that chill again. Yes, that, see, but, now tell us about the cover a little bit, Joy, if you don't mind. How did that come about? Your cover and colors and yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think I was just, um, I think I was just imagining, yeah. you know, what yeah. does it look like mm -hmm. um, for me to talk about um, being a chain breaker, yeah. um, breaking down some yeah. of those things in our lives that need, mm -hmm. you know, breaking down and right. sometimes tearing apart and throwing away, Right. right. you know, um, yeah. and then, cool. yeah, and then how you know, how do I talk about mm -hmm. uh, the reimagining? Because right. sometimes we are so, um, we have such a yeah. thing in yeah. our mind that's yeah. stuck. Yeah. And the idea of mm -hmm. saying, no, 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 no. Let's just reimagine this whole thing. Mm -hmm. How could it look like if, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. could it look like if? Mm -hmm. And so, and that's what I kind of wanted to put yeah. um, as the theme of this book. Um, but I had a tagline at the bottom and I don't know if you, you know, kind of looked at that, but that was important to me too, because it talked about um, collective action. Mm -hmm. That is something that is very important um, to, I feel like with all of us, we mm -hmm. don't um, have enough of the coming together and right. creating something great right. together. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. so that yeah. was what I wanted to usher uh, into powerful. the book as well. That's powerful, I love it. Well, first of all, Joy, how does people get in touch, in touch with you about that book, you know, as far as uh, ordering any, any other books, but how do they get in touch with you on ordering or even talking, giving you uh, opportunity to uh, talk to their groups, organizations and so forth as well via virtual, right? Because now she can come into your home, come into <laughs> yes. your network pretty easy, but tell us how to get in touch with you and, and get the book as well. Right. And so you, so actually you should have a link actually for it as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have a link that I'll send out and you can definitely use that link and it'll take you right to uh, the platform where the book is uh, and there'll be no problem. And then also don't forget, you can always uh, contact me at joylynnmackey at gmail.com if you have any questions mm -hmm. or things about it that you would want to talk about. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that, Joy. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Joy, there's a lot of authors out there already. Matter of fact, we we host what we call a um, author showcase every now and then from around the country. You know, different uh, authors come in brand new and uh, didn't have the exposure, so we put them out there as well. But uh, what would you say to new authors or somebody that says, yeah, I have a book inside me, but I don't know what to do, uh, or maybe they have their first book out and, and nobody's bought one yet. Uh, you know, they got it all ready to go, but nobody's bought it yet. But what would you do to encourage your your new and, and also seasoned authors as well today? Uh, really, a lot of times um, I, I coach people yeah. uh, because I know that there are a lot of people when they see that I've done, you yeah. know, a book, they, they want to ask me a question right. about a book. Right. And, and so, um, and I've had that question a lot, you know, I don't really think, I don't know how, I, how would I do this? Mm -hmm. And I would say, well, I don't know, but this is kind of some of the things that I've done, you know, and yeah, I just share right. a couple things, you know, in the right. background mm -hmm. for them to be able to um, get an idea mm -hmm. of how they mm -hmm. can move forward to the next step, the next step. Right. So I, I always would say, ask someone um, yeah. if there's a person that you know, um, that is a writer or, you know, someone even who's a professor or a teacher or something, mm -hmm. you know, don't be afraid to ask them um, about those particular things. And you'd be surprised how much people would be uh, uh, interested in yeah. sharing with you Absolutely. some of their process. Absolutely. That's powerful. You know, also too late, Joe, for those authors, right? Those you had a book out there. And as a matter of fact, it could be a film, right? It could be a movie, right? It could be a playwright thing, uh, things like that. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you can reach out to Joy as well for some initial consultation there in that area. But guess what, Joy, that can also do their initial work 
on YouTube, okay, ladies and gentlemen. You can just type in how to do an ebook, how to publish yourself, how to publish, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just depends. But what I'm saying here, you have to do that. You have to do the work now. If you want to pay us to do all that for you, that's another thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can afford us out there, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all need to just do your own research. I want y'all to get the work on your own book. But again, like Joyce said, you do need some help, though. You do need to reach out to somebody. Just find somebody in your area uh, that has actually done it. To Joy, I don't talk to anybody who hasn't written a book. You know, what's the purpose of that? I know you think That's about true. your book, but do you have a book? No. Well, nice meeting you. Let's keep in touch. So let me find somebody who published a book. <laughs> so that's so important, lady. But we just want to encourage you guys, if you, any authors out there, new authors, I don't care if you're five years old with your mom and dad, put that book out there, right? Y'all, y'all, mom and dads have got brilliant little children, right? To help them write their book, help them get that book out there, right? As well. But uh, you're going to have to help them, of course. But the point is, we want you to, to really express yourself on paper, express yourself through whatever God has put in your heart today. And that's what Joy is sharing with you today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, this is Power Connections, ladies and gentlemen, with Kevin Vaughn and my wonderful, wonderful guest, Joy Lynn Mackey, leader, CEO and founder of I Can Collective. We're just having a great discussion uh, about a life, about her uh, network, and about uh, what she does very, very well in her wonderful book. She's a brilliant, brilliant author, and we're just excited about her sharing that information with us today, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, Joy, we're just excited about, you know, we're, we're talking about history is really being written every day in our mm -hmm. nation today. And here we are watching it. We're literally watching history being written. And then we can go back and say, yeah, we were there <laughs> in, that, in some areas, you know. So, yeah. so, 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 so powerful today as well. But, Joy, what we want to do uh, right now is uh, one thing we love to do on Power Connections is give some type of power play or some type of power quote or something that we can help people move forward. Because people, you know, I found out, Joy, people just need to be encouraged today. Mm. We just want to encourage you to do what you have to do and know you have everything you need to get to get forward. Now, sometimes you need to motivate yourself. Now, King David, some of y'all know this story. King David, man, all the things he did, I'm saying, what? He had to motivate himself. <laughs> he had to encourage himself one day because he got depressed. I could have said, what, King David had to, his, this is a guy who walked with God, heard God, did what God said, and he got depressed one day and said, man, I got to talk to the Lord. He prayed, and he encouraged himself in the Lord, and he went back and won back his family, won back the nation, and won back mm. his position as well. So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you just got to encourage yourself, but guess what? You got to want it. That's what I want to share with you today. But Joy, if you don't mind, just from your heart, talk. Uh, I want to make sure people know how to get in touch with you uh, as well before we leave today, but also to just from your heart, what would you say to people to encourage them? Because some people are, don't have friends, you know, to talk to. Some people don't have relatives uh, that, to talk to for whatever reason. Uh, I just talking to somebody today, uh, their family, every time they call is always negative. And they, uh, all you want to do is hang up. <laughs> you know, it's your relatives. No encouraging word. It's always the negative stuff, you know. And after a while, you say, I don't need to talk to nobody <laughs> after a while. So anyway, Joy, uh, if you would, uh, what would you say today for encouragement? Because people need that today in this COVID world. Uh, as you know, unfortunately, the COVID numbers are going up. That means we have to be mm. isolated even more today around our nation, even around the globe. So therefore, that weighs on us. Because see, we're, we're a people of, of engagement, as you know. I, I cannot not talk to somebody. <laughs> you got to talk to somebody, you know. So the point is that we, we need assistance sometimes. We have to use ca caution, of course, about what we're doing today. But my point is, uh, you know, when people are, uh, love to be around people and they no, no, no longer can do it the same way, they get discouraged. They get depressed a little bit. But Joy, if you would, from your perspective, what would you say to encourage folks out there today? I would say um, every day, get up, yeah. move, mm -hmm. and keep going. Never say never, right. keep moving forward. It's so important. Um, so I'm gonna say this, mm -hmm. you know, during that pandemic, everybody was swamped with anxiety, even the counselors. Right. Um, you know, you know, they're, they're human as well. Yes. Um, you know, and we, 
are the people that are giving, you know, a lot of that um, to the world. But this idea of the pandemic shifted us to a whole different yes, level. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, and so I had anxiety. Mm -hmm. My family had anxiety. My neighbors, yeah. had, you know, people walking yeah. down the street definitely yeah. had yeah. anxiety. Yeah. Um, and so don't feel like you are, you know, some horrible person because right. you felt like that. Right. No, that was something that was happening mm -hmm. and you experienced it and, and it was painful or hard or, you know, those types of things. And don't put yourself down mm -hmm. um, because of those things. Remember that mm -hmm. no matter what's happening, um, God is with you. Mm -hmm. God is with you. Mm -hmm. um, and just continue to walk in that path mm -hmm. with God, and you're going to get to the strength again. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. um, you will get to your strength again. Um, the mental health piece is is very important for us uh, yeah. because we have a lot in our lives that we are doing. We're you know we're working in certain places or you know um, taking care of children. We're you know doing all of these different things. Um, that we feel like we have to do and we are neglecting our mental health, I say, make sure you take time for self-care. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is so important. No matter what's happening, what's going, what's yeah. that, make time for mm -hmm. your mental health, for self, yeah, yeah, yeah. for your yeah. self survival. Powerful, powerful, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, that's why we have uh, Lynn on, uh, uh, excuse me, Joy Lynn Mackey on our network. Ladies. She's our power connector with the wisdom uh, that she brings to the network today. The goal is just to keep you encouraged, ladies and gentlemen. That's really what it's all about. Keep you encouraged, keep you moving forward and to know you, who you are. And it's not necessarily easy all the time. We understand that. It's not easy for everybody. Uh, that's why you have to call your friends. You know, if you have a girlfriend, if you have uh, a, a good person, people in your life, uh, anybody you can call just to stay encouraged. It could be your pastor, right? It could be your bishop, could be your uh, evangelist, <clears throat> anybody with a positive side of this. But most of all, we want to point you to God, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to point you to God through Jesus Christ and let the power of the Holy Spirit help you as well. And that's the key really to everything. And I'm not, I'm going to be un unapologetic about that. The key is Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, if you invite him in, uh, the Holy Spirit will guide you and keep you in that area. So that's powerful joy. And thank you so much for that. It's so important today, guys, that you stay focused on, you know, sometimes you just got to focus on you, right, Joy? That's right. You know, not to be selfish, but if anything, your soul is very important, ladies and gentlemen. And I was telling people, Joy, if anything you're going to be selfish about, be selfish about your soul <laughs> going to the Lord, going back to the Lord. That's right. And that's what you want to be selfish about. And you can do that without being selfish to others, of course. That's very, very important there. So we want you to protect yourself and enjoy yourself. And, and we just want you to be excited, really, about your life. These are some of the, I think this is a day we've never seen in the history of the planet, right, Joy? Never that's seen right. this day before. And when you look at it like that, you say, wow, I got to do the best I can uh, in that area. Uh, today and, and what you do is wake up attitude. Matter of fact, Joy, sometime in the future, we got to talk about attitude. See, that's the key word for me. you got to have a great attitude, ladies and gentlemen. Very regardless true. Regardless of what's going on, you got to turn that, we always say, turn those lemons into lemonade, right? And then you'll be able to drink it too as well. Maybe use some, uh, some, uh, some sh not too much sugar, right? <laughs> today, but anyway. <laughs> but the point is, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to turn your lemons into lemonade and be excited about because uh, God really has given you everything you need. God says uh, that in his word, ladies and gentlemen, that you have everything you need to succeed today uh, based on his power. And also too, Joy, you know, God says, if you ask, knock and seek, he'll answer. That's right. right. To his will. So uh, we want to point you to the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, point you to the Lord today and let you know that he, if you got any needs for that, you know, prayer wise or mentoring, you can call me. Ladies and gentlemen, 404 401 0233. We'd be glad to pray with you or just encourage you. Or if you need to get in touch with Joy, I'll be glad to send you her information as well. Uh, but give me a holler, 404 401 0233. I love it. This is your power connections, ladies and gentlemen, with the beautiful and awesome Joy Lynn Mackey, ladies and gentlemen. She's an author, speaker, motivational speaker as well, ladies and gentlemen. She can help you in the area, but her books are powerful, ladies and gentlemen. We, we're just excited about what she's shared with us today. And, uh, you know, Joy, we always like to give our, uh, our guests some final thoughts. 
Uh, as you know, we got we talked earlier about the new regime coming in <laughs> for the presidency, if you will. We're really excited about that. Man, that is powerful to be able to see that. You know, we thought uh, seeing a black president was powerful, but seeing a, a vice president, woman, black woman in a VP selected, uh, elected, excuse me, that is powerful as well. Yes. And, we, yeah, and you can almost see what the future is going to bring. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's so right. That's I'll, right. Leave that, I'll leave that alone. It's going to be here in the next, uh, uh, we'll look at the next, what, next 20 years or more or less, you'll see some things really where it should be, we believe, according to the will of God. Yeah. And, uh, but seriously, though, ladies and gentlemen, you want to pray for your leaders, right? Pray for them. Pray for folks uh, out there uh, in our nation. Uh, matter of fact, we've been told, Joy, to pray for our enemies as well. Pray for you. That's right. If folks don't like you. That's okay. Just pray for them. As long as they ain't touching you, you know, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> but pray for them anyway. So we got to be uh, used with some, of course, ladies and gentlemen, have some fun with that. But Joy, if you would, we got a few more minutes here. Uh, we don't want to keep you over time. But if you would, give us some final thoughts uh, and some takeaways and some action items today. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say Black people um, are the idea whose time has come. Mm -hmm. And I want you to remember that. That is so important yeah. um, because sometimes we miss a lot of things because, mm -hmm. you know, we think we mm -hmm. can't. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the thing is that Black people are the idea whose mm -hmm. time has come. Our mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. has come. And so do what you have to do to move forward each day so that you can really get into um, the areas of your life that you really want to get into. Don't hold yourself back. Um, this is the time for us to grow together, work together, do collective things together, build together, um, and yeah. and be able to create the things that we want to see in the world. That's Amen. very important. Yeah, very, very important. As you know, Joy and ladies and gentlemen, the body, this is our body, right? But guess what? The hand is going to say, I don't need the head. This hand, right hand, left hand ain't going to say, I don't need my right hand. You know what I'm saying? So we're all body. We're one body, ladies and gentlemen. Now, not everybody can be a toe. It don't make no sense, right, to be a toe or a foot or a nose. You know, I don't need five noses, right? I need one nose. So <laughs> the nose is going to be the nose. So the point is, ladies and we all have purpose. We all have position. The key is to be able to work collectively together. That's what it's all about. Enjoy as you was talking, I was just sharing. As my pastor uh, shares uh, all the time, we want to encourage everybody to read, right? Start reading more. Very important. Read more stuff you like to read. Research, right? Do your research. Stop saying, well, I think this is what it is. Do you know what it is? <laughs> you know, do your homework, right? We'd say, Joy, get the facts, right? Get the facts. Well, you, I heard that Joy wrote a book. Well, do you know she wrote a book or not? You know, <laughs> do your homework, ladies and gentlemen. Also, to pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on around you, right? going on around you because people are doing stuff that's crazy and you want to pay attention to make sure it's not going to impact you in any way. And la uh, next thing was under um, also understand the systems, right? We talk about governmental systems all the way from your neighborhood. I'm talking about your, your uh, homeowners association all the way up to the United States government. So at least not to be an expert, but at least understand there's a process for stuff, right? You may want to run for mayor. You may want to run for an alderman. You may want to run for a uh, city council a chair, whatever it is, understand the process and get involved and stop complaining, ladies and gentlemen, about stuff, get involved or be quiet. Very simple. You know, do something about it or don't say nothing at all, right? If you want to do anything, encourage people that like to do those type of things. And last but not least, Joy, they got to take action, right? What's yes. the purpose of all that? You can have all these books in your mind, in your head, in your belly, and if you don't write them, uh, we're going to be waiting for the right. We're going to wait for you to release them, right? So that's the whole purpose. You got to take action in Jesus' mighty name. Great. Well, anyway, Joy, any final thoughts before we let you go? We got about three more minutes, I think. Any final thoughts for you from your wonderful heart? Thank you so much. Just thank you so much um, for connecting. You know, to yeah. me, like I said, that's the most important thing is that, that we're connecting. Yeah. Um, that, you know, we're building together. Yeah. Uh, so I just thank you for the opportunity to share with your network. Yeah, thank uh, you. it's, it's great. <clears throat> and I, I enjoy the uh, milieu of things that you yeah. <laughs> put out yeah, in the world. Of, yeah, we have a lot of fun, uh, Joy. And you, of course, this is your network, too. Uh, the overall media network, ladies and gentlemen, is it's called the MLT network. It's called Men. Let's talk. It's a family network, and we bring people in like Joy 
uh, Lynn Mackey, ladies and gentlemen, to talk about what she does. The goal really here, Joy, is just to promote people and uh, give them exposure, give them information as well uh, about what they're doing as well. We just want to connect. One of my favorite quotes uh, I use, um, uh, Lynn, is uh, network the planet. That's what I do. I network the entire planet and we bring in people with like minds and like I love that. that help us out. So that's what I want you guys to do. Network the planet. You can do this online, right? I didn't, we don't, I have never met Joy, but she's like a sister, you know, to our network. I never met her live. So, you know, and, and you don't have to be a stranger to people. Just be kind and nice and and professional, right? And you can you can learn a lot from people like that. So, so I want you guys to do that as well. But Joe, I tell you, I'm I'm excited, guys. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you so much for joining us on Power Connections today. And uh, Joy, do, do you have a busy day today and a uh, busy week? You got a busy day and week today. I do. I yeah. do. Good, good. Well, good deal. We want you to keep it moving. And uh, I was going to try to bring some music up. I ain't gonna worry about that right now. But uh, hey, guys, we got to get out of here. We've been uh, talking to Joy Lynn Mackey, ladies and gentlemen, the CEO and founder of I Can Black Collective. She is an awesome author, speaker, motivational speaker. She's also, ladies and if you just type in her name right over here, where is it at? Yeah, right there. Oops, other hand here. There it is right there. <laughs> just type in her name on in LinkedIn. That's how I found it. On LinkedIn, they just yeah. go to Joy Lynn Mackey right there on LinkedIn. You can get everything about her and you can, of course, contact her as you see fit as well. But that's great. Well, Joy, most of all, God bless you. We thank you for thank your you. wonderful life. And uh, please tell everybody on your side that uh, we're excited about it. And also, too, you're welcome back. And uh, we'll talk offline if we need to about bringing some other authors in to help them out. Uh, maybe we can do something with some uh, what we call author showcase. So if you got some other authors that want to come out, uh, let us know. We'll do a conference on with them on the network and uh, give us some time, too, to share their awesomeness in their wonderful uh, collection as well. Definitely. I love it. And don't and be thinking about film and uh, movies in the future from some of your books because we need it. We need those. Need to uh, yeah, I too. actually, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm a little connected to that already. Yeah, so yes, yeah. that's coming. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. That's wonderful. Well, guys, we're out of here. Well, Lynn, uh, Joy, Lynn, Maggie, thank you so much for joining us on Power Connection today. We are excited thank for you. you guys. We want you to uh, leave you with this, lady John, as uh, one of my mentors, Dr. Uh, Larry Carnes, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, Dr. Alina G. Clark would say, uh, with us always out love, out forgive, and out serve each other. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Uh, uh, Joy, thank you so much for your time today. And thank, thank you. for being with us on Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn. God bless you, okay? Bless you. All right, bless you. Now, take care, guys. Have a great day, guys. And uh, let somebody know that you love them, okay? We love you so much. Bye-bye now. All right, we're going to stop the stream. We just stopped the stream there, and we're going to...